Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy feature updates for Windows 1909. So there's a few things you need to know um, before deploying the updates or the feature updates. So if your environment you plan to update from 1903 to 1909, you have to use this package, this updates here. It's called uh, Feature Update Windows 10 version 1909x64. And make sure it says 1911 via en enablement package. So this package require Windows versions 1903. If you have anything lower than 1903, maybe 18, um, 1809, you cannot use this one. You have to use the 1909. Let's let me search by language at English search. So the 1809 upgrade to 1909 you're going to have to use um let's see is this this the one here 1909 this is consumer edition so it has to be this one when you upgrade from 1809 so in my environment i have 1903 only so I would need the enable so it is this is the one I'm going to as you can see three are required I'm going to right click and then go into download. It's already downloaded, but I'm going to, I did a test earlier. I'm going to re-download it again. I'm going to choose this package, 1909 consumer features. Click next, click on download and next again, next and close. So once I download it, I'm going to deploy it before I deploy, I need to create a collections. I'm create a test collections. Let's create a test collection here. I'm going to call it Windows 10 1903 systems. All desktop and servers. Click next, I'm going to create a queries. Call this 1903. Click on edit query. Click on criteria, click a plus sign. I mean the star. Click on select. It's going to be operating system. And then I'm going to choose the build number, click OK, equals to the build number for 1803, I'm sorry, for, for 1903 is it's going to be 183.62 equals to, that's fine, click OK, next. And that should pick up all my Windows 10 1903 devices. Let's refresh. As you can see, I have four devices that are 1903. I'm going to deploy. I'm going to deploy to this this collections. 
let's go to my test device. So here's my test device. Winver. As you can see here, I have 1903. The minimum requirements is 18 18362. You want to make sure you have the latest cumulative, cumulative updates. Just say if you um, plan to deploy 1903 for this month, make sure it's you have the cumulative updates for at least April. Let's go back to SCCM. Go back to software library. So here it is. I'm going to right click and then deploy. I'm going to call this Windows 10 1909 upgrade. Click on the collections. This is the collection I want. Click, click next. I'm going to make it available so I can install it from Software Center. Click next. That's fine. Looks good there. Download. I want to make sure I choose download here and check these two boxes. And click next. And now if I go to test my my test device I'm going to force the policy machine retrieval policy run now click OK let's go to software center All right, as you can see here, it's available. I'm going to click on install. Install to confirm. So this will take a few minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back. So actually it's taken less than five minutes on my computer. So now let me restart. All right, now let me check, see if it has been upgraded. Type in Winver. There it is. Oops, where is it? Here it is. As you can see, it's 1903 and the build version is 183.63. The 62 is the, the uh, 1903. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.